catch a mouth. Hello and welcome to another video. Hello and welcome to my video on how to change the wheels on an Audi A2. So today we have some 15 inch tyres and wheels that are going to come off and some 16 inch nice Audi SE wheels that are going to go on. I showed with some new cool uh, rubber. So I'm going to show you some of the tools that I use in order to be able to change the tyres quickly and safely. We have the jack that comes in the back of the car. We have the locking wheel nut which also comes in the back of the car. We'll find it in the rear of the car. In the boot there is a little hole and that's where it should be. We have some wheel chocks that we're going to stop the car with when it's set up on the jack. We have an extension which we're going to use along with our torque wrench to enable us to torque down the um, bolt when we're completing the install and we'll talk about the torque settings that we need to get to when we're at that point. We have a tad iron, which I think is better than the box banner that comes with the car, but easier to take them off. We have an extension bar, which will help us get a bit more leverage when we need to take the wheel bolts off. We have a 17mm socket, which is the size that's used on the A2 for the wheel lugs. So we'll use that along with the torque wrench. And of course we have an impact wrench, which helps us take the bolts off quickly and the tyres themselves. So now I'm going to get on with the install on this front tyre here and show you the entire process from start to finish. We'll go in in detail on one and then I'll go around on a time lapse on the rest of them so you can see it quickly getting done. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that the car's safe. In order to do that, we have to put the handbrake on, check the handbrakes on, knock the car into first gear with the car off obviously to make sure it's nice and safe and that locks the car in place. And then we'll use the wheel chucks. So, car is in gear. Put the chocks in, we we'll loosen the nuts first while they're down, sitting on the ground so it's easier to do, and then we'll jack the car and then we'll bring it up and take the rest of the nuts off. The jack that comes with the car is very simple to use, just a screw up adapter here, place this on the ground, place this inside the special hole here. So I have another video which shows you how to take these off and put them back in again. It's simply a case of pushing at the bottom and then pulling it out. Place it within the hole, straighten up the jack the bottom so that it's flat to the ground. Wind it down till it's flat and then you can get some tension onto it like that. Then we can leave it like that. Now we can use the impact wrench to see if we can get these bolts off. This is a 17mm. So that is the wheel nuts all loose. Now we're ready to jack the car and take the wheel off. One of the most important things that I forgot to mention at the start was copper grease. Copper grease is what we're going to use in order to put onto the nuts to save them from getting rusted in. If you're switching tyres over, make sure that you check for the direction of the tyre. If it is directional, then make sure you put it on the right side of the car. Before I put it on, I'm going to put a little amount of copper grease onto my finger and around the mating surfaces here in order to make sure it doesn't get too stuck when it's on there and it's easy enough to take off the next time. I'm going to put a little bit of copper grease into each of the holes here to make sure that they don't rust in. If you can take the wheel, pop it back on. And I find it easiest to hold it with my feet. Put it onto the center. Use our tire iron, check for 17 mil. And just do it not tight, just enough to hold it. Locate it. Now we can lower the car down. It's important that we don't actually take it off the jack at this point, so the wheel is not totally secure. 
now we can use the torque wrench. Okay, if you go to set the torque wrench to 120 newton meters, once it's locked at 120, we'll put the extension on, and then we're going to torque them down. Now, when you're torquing down the wheel bolts on your car, you torque it across, each one goes across from the next one until you've had them all done. That's it, that's the wheel bolts now torqued up. And we can remove the jack. Then we can replace the cover. And that's the first wheel done. I'm now going to show you the next wheels, do them on a time lapse so you can see how quickly you can get them done. And there we have it. So all the wheels have been changed and now we have the car sitting in its new rubber, ready to go. Um, just need to pick up the wheel chocks and that's us all done. So you can see it's not a difficult process. Safety is the most important thing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.